Hey Joe, how are you man? Thank you for responding and I completely understand your uh, skepticism and I understand that you um, probably, I mean you and myself both, even me being in this field, um, I get a whole bunch of stuff. So um, let's just jump right into it so that way, because I understand that you are a busy guy and again, I really honestly, I appreciate you responding um, and you even writing this message to me. So I, I do appreciate that. So uh, obviously here's your guys' website. Uh, so I am the CEO and the founder of the Powerhouse Listing. Uh, here's our site, the Powerhouse Listing. Um, now I'll get right into it. So uh, the so we are a full service marketing agency, um, but we are uh, we have a proprietary software. Okay, it's called the Powerhouse Listing. And it's a listing software, okay? So all of these publishers that you see right here, um, we've built a relationship with uh, directly and we built the software around our relationship with all of them individually. Um, and uh, I'm gonna show you exactly what the software does and how it's going to um, increase and dominate your online presence that you have right now. Um, even though you guys do have the online presence you have now, I know that you guys have around 30K of value traffic. Um, I know that you do have some organic traffic. I know that you guys are using some organic keywords, which it's, they're literally right here. Um, trailer truck, what are big blind spots in, on a truck called, um, FedEx truck accident. I mean, it, literally all the organic keywords that you guys are using are literally right here. Um, I can see all of them, and then I, I literally see the exact uh, link that it's pushing to FedEx Truck Accident History, so um, I'm pretty good at what I do. So I can, I can see exactly what you guys are doing here. But our software, okay, so it is a listing software, and this is the absolute foundation um, that every business should have, and this is exactly why you should have it yourself as well. So on our site, if you just scroll down a little bit, um, right here, it'll say the internet is a business polygraph. It says scan your business. As soon as you hit that button, there's a sheet that pops up. And for time's sake, I already filled out the information. So what I'll do is I'll go back right here. And I filled out all of the information based off of your guys' uh, site, okay? And as soon as I hit scan now, what this tool does is it actually will scan your business and every profile, okay, that appears within our network of all of the publishers that you guys have um, across all of the major publishers, okay? And the way that you can look at it is just like this, right? With credit, there are some businesses that report to credit bureaus and some that don't. Um, I mean, you know, all of the ones that we partnered with were uh, platforms that actually will report. So in other words, when people type into Google, um, Every customer's journey starts with a question, right? So when people type into Google, all of the keyword stuff that you're that you guys are being recognized for. So what are our what are large blind spots on a truck called? Um, FedEx truck accidents, right? So they're basically putting in keywords to a question that they have. But every customer's journey starts with a question. Okay. So what our software does is as soon as you scan the business, and this is a tool that we use, it'll pull up every single platform that you guys have on all of the reporting uh, publishers, okay? And we're affiliated with over 100 of them. So as you can see, it says 100% of the listings are inaccurate. It says 71% of similar businesses in your region have better reviews, which just means we basically need to get more reviews for you because the only thing that I see is five reviews here and I don't see any other major reviews, which I'm pretty sure that 71% of other businesses don't have better reviews. I think it's just because we need to get more reviews and then you're missing around 30% of your schema tags, um, which means you have a majority of them, which definitely makes sense because you have um, you have a lot of uh, paid traffic value, okay? So once you get this result back, and the reason why it's 100% of the listings are inaccurate is because as you can see, and I'm pretty sure that you are not the one, you maybe have an office manager or an assistant or somebody in your office that probably went on to each or maybe an agency, I don't know, um, that went into each and every single one of these publishers and created this uh, this profile. And either the phone number is the 404 or you guys have the 800 number listed 
um, or the the business is your name or without your middle name or LLC or um, whatever have you. So the reason why that that makes so much sense um, and the reason why it matters so much is because as all of these publishers are all reporting, the fact that they're all reporting different information, if all of them are reporting different information, um, that would basically mean that when somebody goes in and types in these keywords, that the publishers in Google, the, which is the main one, right? They're saying, well, if the information is so different across so many publishers, um, why would I recommend, right? Google being, why would I, right? So why would Google recommend this business compared to somebody else, um, you know, compared to the uh, law firm that, that has all of their information correct and accurate across all of the platforms, okay? So what does the powerhouse listing does, right? So the information is great, now how do we fix it? And the fact that you don't have some, you know, a profile across some of the major uh, platforms is also, you know, a little bit concerning too, but um, yeah, well, there's some major ones down here. Okay, so what does the software do? Now, once you create a, uh, you know, an account with us, you get your own, uh, you get your own username and password Okay, just like this. And when you sign into the account, you land what's on the knowledge graph. Okay, now within the knowledge graph, there's a simple form. And I, you're a smart guy, and I know that you don't want me to go into all the nitty gritty, you know, super detailed stuff. You want the meat and the potatoes. Um, and then, as you said, if it makes sense and you can see the value, basically, um, you know, you'll we can discuss it, right? So here's the meat and the potatoes. Okay, uh, here it is. All right, cool. Let me just get rid of this. All right, cool. So here's the sheet. Okay, this is all of the information that you could possibly think of, even down to the keywords that you have that you're running right now. Your organic keywords. We even included that um, on the in the dashboard as well, and you can add as many as you want. Okay. So this is all the information about your business. Once you fill out all of this information, and we can do it for you as well. Uh, once you fill out all of this information and you save it, it instantly corrects all of this information that you have here and it creates the profile across every single one of these publishers that are reporting instantly without having to go to any of them instantly saving you time, money, and resources, period. So let me ask you a question. If you had to, or you ask your office manager or your assistant or whoever it is, hey, I just uh, I just saw a report that said that our Yelp has the you know 800 number, but the Foursquare has the 404 number, and our Facebook has the 877 number, um, and the Bing has the 404 number, uh, I need you to go into each and every single one of these platforms and I need you to make sure that it either has the 404 or the 877 number. Can you please can you please do that? Obviously you're paying her probably per hour or on a salary, but it's it's taking somebody the time to go in there and fix all of that. Now, well within the platform, you fill out the information once, all of the information is correct across every single one, instantly fixes it in real time and it creates the profile across every single one. Now, just like I was saying before, all of them are reporting. So if all of the information is correct across all of them, it instantly creates a higher standard of SEO and backlinking, which applies to right here. And it applies to, um, it applies to Google as well. And they, they do their weekly and, and daily scan of, of your uh, listing it's heavier because all of your information is correct across that many platforms, um, instantly increasing your online presence, especially with all of these platforms, okay? So that's the first major, major part in the wow factor of the powerhouse listing. Now the second part, the analytics. Now you can literally track and alleviate all of the guessing game where all of your analytics and all of your keywords and all of these people are searching the 5,600 keywords that you guys have and where all of these are coming from, right? Because majority of it is Google. So now you can literally specifically see 
all of the analytics and I'm sure that you have a marketing agency that does that. But when you have all of those keywords and all of them are intertwined with all of these platforms and now within one dashboard without applying any specific code to your website, you can literally track all of this and I'm 100% positive that you are not the one that is going to be looking at this. So I'm just gonna leave it at this. Having the ability to see all of the analytics across that many platforms uh, in one location, again, overhead and cost, it's instantly saving you time, money, and resources for either A1, there's three types of business owners. There's, I'm sorry for the husky barking, but there's there's three types of business owners. There's the one that does it themselves, and I, you're an attorney, you're a busy guy. I'm pretty sure that you are not the one that's doing this. So either one, you're delegating, or two, you're having it done for you by a marketing agency, okay? so. One, if it's the second one where you're delegating this to somebody in your office, the payroll and that cost for the time, money, and the resources for them to go and look at this and then come up with the plan for you guys to have better marketing for you to generate more clients, that's costing money to your payroll. Okay, now the other one where if you're having somebody else do it for you, this could be a thing to where either A1, we can do it for you where we fill all of it out and we just present you with uh, weekly or monthly reporting so that way we can say, hey, this is what's going on on top of what you guys already have, but you're also listed to over 100 different publishers and this is where your traffic is coming from. And when you have the platform, it actually does save you all of this money, uh, which the money that's being spent into Google and keyword ads and everything else, okay? So that's that. Now the third part, uh, is the listing reviews, which I had said before that I had only saw, oops, I had only saw that you guys have about five reviews on your, um, on your guys' Facebook page. Um, well, from now on, once you guys create a profile, right, and you guys have it, all of your guys' reviews that you do have, which I could definitely help you generate some more reviews, uh, you can actually locate across every single one of these platforms right here to the left. You can actually uh, access them directly from within the dashboard. Literally click on the review for Facebook, let's say, because that's where all of your reviews are, the five that you do have. And you can literally, well, you're probably not, but whoever's delegated to do it could literally comment or reply directly to the, uh, to the post and it'll go directly, directly to it within Facebook. So, at a 30,000 elevated uh, you know, view of what the powerhouse listing does, this is the meat and the potatoes, okay? It is literally being able to post to over 100 different platforms. It's just like fishing. The more hooks and the more bait that you have in the water, especially with COVID and the way that it is today, if a business doesn't have an online presence that is just extremely dominating, it's just not going to survive. And I know you not surviving is not the case. I know that you have an established practice. I know that you have multiple attorneys. I know that that's not it. I know that it's just broadening your your online presence and just being everywhere your customers are searching for the type of law um, that you guys provide is the most thing. And I know that it's ROI. Basically, I know for a fact that our software works um, and I know that we could provide you with the value um, and the, um, you know, any ROI that would basically make sense for you. It's just a matter of, you know, communicating to the point to where we can do that. Um, and I know for a fact that we can we can get it done. Um, and I know that for a fact that we can help you and your uh, and your firm. So um, I'm going to end the video because one, I appreciate your time and I appreciate the fact that you even messaged me back and I do value that. So, um, but those are the three things. It's being able to list to, to that many platforms um, with all the SEO and the backlinking and all the keywords and all that stuff, which I can go over at another date. But it's that fact, the analytics and the reviews all in one place instantly saving you time money and resources for whoever does it. If it's somebody in your practice or in your firm now, or if you would like us to do it either way, it's going to happen because the ROI with the amount of clients that you have coming in from all of these different platforms, um, that's what's going to make the difference. All right, so thank you. I appreciate it. And uh, I can't wait to talk to you. Appreciate it, Joe, thank you.